Hello everyone and welcome again to a new lesson of Microsoft Excel powered by Smallhead Big Wisdom. Today I'm going to talk about how to create an invoice in Excel and how to apply some borders and special formatting. So here I have the invoice I have created so I'm gonna teach you step by step how to do it here how to create the drop-down list and all the the invoice itself so I'm gonna open a new sheet here and it start on cell A2 for instance company name and address double click to adjust the size uh, invoice and date so here invoice number and here date or any number So here the date twenty four March any year. So here if we can put a valid year twenty twenty and then we can assign for Martin here. this one or, or whatever so here because the formatting is month day and enlarge so control one or just here number I can change the date to whatever the year and the year so after that uh, build to build to company name address phone address phone and email and uh, description here description quantity unit price and amount so any quantity price any price and later we do the calculation so here get to subtotal let's put the borders highlight and here I assign the borders so subtotal Uh, tax rate tax and total so in order to calculate just equal in Excel all operations starts with equal this quantity multiply by this number and hit enter after that I can copy and it calculates according to the new values the subtotal I can use the add and highlight all the range just in case 
I enter a new value, it updates automatically. Tax rate, let's put 8%. So I'm going to calculate this value equal 8% times 3050, which is tax plus this value, and it gives you the total. I can assign the dollar sign. Okay, so now let's assign the formatting. So here you can see this color. So I can assign this and white can center and assign borders the same. I can assign border here and uh, only the outside and copy this formatting and merchant center just to use and align to the left. Okay, the same formatting copy from a painter and highlight these headings. I can center this and uh, what else? Yeah, you can use any color that you want. And here I can assign this color. The same copy. And here it will remove the dollar. So I can assign it separately. Any. So now how to add the drop down list here. So the steps are simple. So just in another section you can write the text that you want. For instance, invoice and receipt. And after that, I want to place it here, so I go to data, data validation, data validation, and here in this drop down, I choose list. So, where is the list? So, in search, I click in this arrow and highlight the test, and OK. So here to drop down, I can choose. So the other step just to highlight and to give, to center, to give the color that I need. Okay, that is the way. So whenever I change if I change this so here the new word appears so I'm gonna undo to leave it as the original undo and this is the original okay so here I can assign any background color whatever I need Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon at Small Head Big Wisdom.